Let's say I give you a little push and you go floating off into space. If we zoom out and look at your path through space time, we'd see that it's not actually flat. There's all of this stuff warping space time around you. So you're going with the flow. And the main bit of stuff near you is Earth. And look, as you follow your path, you're drifting toward its surface. It looks like you're experiencing gravity. But crucially, there isn't any force pulling you in. It helps me to think about it this way. You have two people at the equator and you tell them to walk north. They appear to come together. But there's no actual force causing them to come together. It's just the simple fact that the Earth is curved. That's all gravity is. Don't think about it as a force. Think about it as the geometry of space-time around stuff. Ready? Why does it matter how I describe Ready? gravity? Like, Newton's theory says that gravity looks kind of like this, and Einstein's theory says it looks more like this, but same, same, but different, right? Why does it matter whether I think about gravity as a force that literally pulls things or as the curving of space-time? The reason why it matters is because Newton's law, which describes this mass pulling and that mass pulling as you described, it's not exactly correct. Einstein's space-time leads to genuinely different predictions than Newton's forces. If we still thought about gravity like Newton, we wouldn't have accurate satellites or planes or Uber. If you're calling Uber or Lyft and you're on a street corner, you would be off by kilometers. <laughs> if you did not correct for the relativistic differences between where the satellite is that's receiving and sending the signals and your location down on the Earth. So it has an impact in our daily lives. Now I'm back.